Hello, my name is Tim Black. Today, ABC interviewed Bill Cosby. And the reporter asked Bill Cosby, she said, hey, what if a student comes up to you and says, my mom said you did some bad things. What would you tell the student? And Bill Cosby didn't answer a question. Instead, he gave some long story about rivers and bridges and water. Don't nobody want to hear that. We want to know what's going on with the rape allegations, Mr. Cosby. We want to know, did you rape the women? Now, I know I'm not the person to ask that question. I know I'm nobody. I know you're not being charged. I know you're not in the court of law, but you're in the court of public opinion, and people need to know. We need to know your response, sir. You can't keep coming on our TV talking about rivers. I'm talking about jokes, I'm talking about comedy routines, or talking about shows you want to do. We need to know that you kidnap the vagina from all these women. I think that's a question you need to answer because you didn't become an icon on your own, sir. We made you an icon. We gave you this beautiful life that you've had. We gave that to you. Therefore, we deserve an explanation. We deserve your response to be more than the belabored construct of stories and the inner workings of a legal team and legalese speak, deflection, and dance routine or whatever this is that you're doing. I'm not saying you're guilty or innocent. I'm saying we need to know something. And until you feel like you have lowered yourself to the level that you can answer these questions, we need you to go away. Go away. Don't come back until you want to talk. Now, that's up to you. You're 77 years old. It's highly possible that you won't be with us much longer. And I hate to say that, but we all have a lifespan that we have to be concerned about. So maybe you don't want to talk about it. Maybe you will go to your grave without divulging any information or a real response. Fine. But what you cannot do is be in our world, in our media, in our faces, on our TV, on our stages, and act as if what we're asking is inconsequential. Like it's petty. Like it's beyond reason for us to ask these questions. I think it's wrong that you play with the minds and the emotions of black people in particular who have held you up as this bastion of wisdom and feel as though you do not have an obligation to defend yourself or to speak to these issues. Once again, I know I'm not someone that should ask these questions. Who am I? Just some guy on the internet. I get it, I know, but I'm someone who supported you, someone who respected you, someone who saw you as an icon. So I'm asking you now, Dr. Cosby, what say you, sir? What's your response? And if you have no response, do us the decency of drifting away. I would rather you respond. I'm sure you have much more to give the world, but until you have owned up and stepped up and spoke up and pulled your pants up and responded, I don't want to hear from you. Sincerely yours, Tim Black, just a guy on the internet. All right, I hope you liked that video about Bill Cosby. It was from the heart. If you like that video, maybe you'll like this video up here. It's about Freddie Gray, the Baltimore man whose spine was severed. Or you'll like the video down here. It's about the SAE fraternity and them with the racist chant on the bus. You heard that story. And if you haven't done so already, click uh, up here or click down here for the subscribe button so you can subscribe to my channel and get all my videos in your email and I do a lot of good videos alright I'm out of here click here or there or here
Thanks for watching.